Throughout my time at Hunting Hills High School, I've learned time and time again what a second home really is. A home that sparks new dreams and new aspirations. We started off as small drops of water, and as we grew and matured, we started to form little clouds, which led us to big ones. This place taught me to conquer myself, educationally, mentally, and physically, and gave me the courage to follow my intuition. These four years of interactions with good people, esteemed administrators, dear parents and beloved friends in between these halls, have structured who I am and have built a gateway to who I can be. So I think that my favorite memory at Hunting Hills was probably when I went to Ottawa for Nationals for the first time uh, with my improv team. It was probably one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Track and field grade 10, we went to Edmonton for Provincials and for me coming to a new school and not knowing a lot of people, I was able to make a lot of new friends and create a lot of new memories just in that weekend. My best school memory is Skills Canada and the gold medal. Thank you, Mr. Hartel. <laughs> My best Hunting Hills memory would have to be when our basketball team finally beat Thurber after six long years. And even though we kind of choked going to Provincials in the finals, it's okay because we were so proud of each other in that moment. Playing on the basketball team and all the friendships and bonds I've made over the years. The day we beat Thurber. <laughs> to be league champions <laughs> for basketball. Felt good for my final league game to finally accomplish that. Throwing around Sam's pencil case and getting it lost for two years and then we found it two years later. That was pretty funny. To go to Wakefest and see all the activities that people were doing for 24 hours, so much fun. Got to see a lot of happy faces. It was great. Market day because it was always fun to get free things without having to spend actual money. Winning the championship uh, finals with my football team two times. I was playing basketball for my four years here. I loved the experience. It's when I went to Peru with my Spanish class because I got to meet a lot of new people and create beautiful bonds. Uh, Cameron and I were just going along the river when we looked back and saw Daniel Moon and Ryan Mulder tipping. We were like, oh, we'll never be those idiots. Like, come on, like who tips on the who tips on the river? And then uh, not even hours later, Cameron and I are sinking to the bottom of the river. <laughs> keep paddling, keep paddling, we'll make it, we'll make it. Just keep going. She's like bailing, I see her not even paddling. And then eventually I look back and like our buckets are just floating, we're completely sunk. Would be rugby provincials. Just that whole experience was the best time for hunting at me. For me, at me. My favorite high school memory would be football because it kept me busy and I got to meet a lot of new people. Probably hanging out with these two guys, like, it's just been really fun having them around. Don't know how my life would be without them, you know? My best high school memory was probably playing senior basketball with uh, Matthew Tillipaw. So I'd like to give him a shout out. It's Miss uh, Strohshine. She was my original TA coming into Hunting Hills, and even after my days were done in her classes, and uh, all throughout the rest of my time here, she's always been there when I needed her, a shoulder to lean on. Uh, she was always uh, someone I could talk to, and there's no other person in the world I'd like to thank but her for helping me get this far in my career. Probably French with Madame Melvin. She was absolutely amazing and helped me broaden a second language in my life. She also was the one that introduced me to the exchange program that I went on. And I know that if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have gotten that amazing experience to go and see multiple other countries and live a year abroad. The pumpkin carving, because I get to hang out with these two and watch some Spoopy movies! <laughs>
favorite class is architecture because we get to wear cool hats like these. My favorite class at Hunting Hills High School was probably graphics and animation 20. Mostly because of the teacher and I'd say mostly the material and all the stuff I learned in it. My favorite class was Phys Ed 30 because I got to bond with so many new people and go on fun trips. Chem 30 with Mr. Johnson. I'd like to thank him for making class so much fun and easy to come to. It's architecture last year. Why? Because it had a great teacher and it helped me learn to build a lot of cool stuff with wood that I didn't know how to do. My favorite class was probably photography because I got to work with really nice equipment uh, that I probably won't get to work with ever again. My favorite class is architecture because I like to build and design some stuff and that class has pretty much everything in it. My favorite class was Physics 30 with Mr. Winnicky because I was good at it. It was Gym 30 Outdoor because of all the, the outdoor trips and experiences we got. My favorite class is architecture because I got to spend time with my friends, uh, Jerch, Bowen, Dom. Uh, I got to partake in the design challenges which challenged us to uh, build things with limited resources and see what we could do within a certain time restraint. Probably Digital Arts 30 because um, it, everything that you've learned from past classes leads up to this large class where you're basically just given an outline and you're allowed to do whatever you want with creative freedom. Digital Arts and Arts, it's because I can like show my creativity and how I really feel through drawing and animating. Psychology, and not just because it's my favorite teacher, Mrs. Cosby, although that's a big part of it. It's because it's the class that never fails to brighten my day. My favorite class in Hunting Hills was Q30, because it was a good class. I'd like to be a heavy duty mechanic or help my uncle run the farm. Uh, ten years from now, I see myself as a goldfish farmer. In ten years, I hope to be a high school math teacher, hopefully not subbing. I'd like to thank Stacey Wasmuth for making sure that our rugby season runs through super smoothly and devoting all of our time to the athletics programs. Well, I'd like to thank my parents for actually like forcing me to go to school. Yeah, they woke me up, basically forced me to school, told me to do well. I'd like to thank Mr. Chanum for helping me answering all my tedious questions and for supporting me and believing in me. I'd like to thank Sandy Johnson for being like a mother to me and I guess probably my mom too also for being like a mother to me. I would like to thank Mother Nature for helping me graduate by giving me a good brain. I'd like to thank Mr. Winnicky, Mrs. Cosby, and Ms. Harvey for being amazing teachers and role models during my time at Hunting Hills. I'd like to thank Mr. Sterling for being the best teacher that I have ever had across all grades. We'd like to thank Mr. Johnson for always being super supportive and never failing to put smiles on our faces. Mr. Henry, and I'd like to thank him for making math class super fun. I'd like to thank my mom for always helping me and doing my homework. I'd like to thank Winky because he's been there for us since grade nine. He's helped us through some really tough times. I'd like to thank Mr. Fredrickson for making drama really fun the last two years. It really made the last two years of high school a lot of fun. I would like to thank Leslie Young for being our rugby mom and for always taking great pictures at all the games. I'd like to thank Ms. Berkeley for always helping me out and making sure I graduate and being very, very patient with me. We would like to thank Mr. Pendle for making Math 31 as fun as it possibly can be. And for promising to make cookies if we got 100% on the Centio question, which only happened once. 
but for making pity cookies anyways on exam days. I would like to sincerely thank my parents for all the sacrifices they made because they put made a lot of sacrifice for me to get me here in this country and get me educated. And I guess now that I'm graduating, I'm gonna pay them back someday. Wodiki helped us to balance both school and sports, so we had time for both, and we probably wouldn't have graduated without him. <laughs> I can be myself at this school, and it's that's something that I really, really am grateful for. I would like to thank my parents and teachers for always supporting me. I would like to thank my parents and my dogs for helping me graduate. I would like to thank Ms. Cosby for being the bestest. I want to thank Mr. Wheeler for always inspiring me to keep making music. I'd like to thank Mr. Davis for not only being an amazing teacher, but also being a really great friend. I would like to thank Mr. Sterling for playing Led Zeppelin at the start of every English class, and Mr. Fredrickson for being a great drama teacher and giving me a pizza coupon for a free pizza. Uh, I would like to thank all of my friends and family and everyone who helped me get through all my classes, and we all studied together and had fun during our free periods, and that's what really got me through it. <laughs> I would like to thank my friends Chris and Sharkiel. I'd like to thank Mr. Freddy for letting me be late every day in Drama 30 and still passing me. And I'd like to thank him for being a good friend. I would like to thank Mr. Pendle for being such a great teacher to me this year because um, he was my teacher for Math 31 and 35. And what he really did for me t this year was just amazing. He taught me how to actually uh, think in math, instead of you know using my, going straight to my calculator to solve a problem, instead he taught me how to methodically think and truly just understand how to get to the answer instead of jumping straight to the answer with my calculator. And I think that's something that will really matter to me once I graduate and move on to bigger things for my ed education. So thank you, Mr. Pendle. I would like to thank all the teachers who spent their extra time on me, their lunch breaks, their after school time, just making sure that I am getting what I'm needing to get. And as well, I would like to thank my friends uh, for all the great support through diplomas and just being there in general. So. I would just like to thank Grace for always being by my side through these years. I'd like to accept that thank you, actually. You know, I've had a lot of good teachers over my years here, but like, there's three individuals in particular that I think have really helped me. For one, he doesn't work here anymore, but his name was Mr. Milner. He was my grade nine K&E teacher, and he really jump-started my success at this high school, and that I can, I really thank him for that. Uh, and he had an educational assistant named Miss Christensen, and she's just always there. I know I can always talk to her and she'll always give me a hand. And finally, uh, I want to thank my improv coach, Miss Mary, because uh, she's given me the opportunity to just do so much, and I've gotten opportunities to do stuff I didn't think I was going to be able to do, and she given me those opportunities. And uh, so yeah, that's who I want to thank. I'm very grateful. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mom, Mr. Pendle, Mr. Winnicky, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Cosby, uh, and Mrs. Heisman for being amazing teachers and helping me throughout my high school career. <laughs> I'd like to thank Mrs. Harvey. She's very good with the numbers. She helped me pass Math 30 and I'd like to thank her for that. I'd like to thank my family, my teachers, but most importantly, my role model, Mr. Boyd Harvey. I'd like to thank all my friends for making this year the most enjoyable yet. Congratulations, grads of 2019. As you leave us, I hope you pursue a healthy lifestyle. Go out there and pursue your dreams. Chase them with all of your heart. I've thought a lot about the American Constitution 
that freedom to pursue happiness. It's an amazing idea. It doesn't guarantee happiness. It doesn't say happiness is free. You just got the freedom to pursue it at nobody else's expense either. But even a happy person isn't happy all the time. It's amazing how life works. I call them curved balls that keep throwing at us. But we always keep pursuing that happiness. And sometimes it's only for a day. Sometimes it's a whole month of happiness. But it gets us through all those crazy times. So good luck in your crazy life. Enjoy, congratulations. Grads of 2019, I wish you guys all the best as you head out into that big wide world to start your next adventure and please come back and visit. Cheers. Never lose your grit. And on your graduation day, I would like to share with you one of my favorite quotes by a true champion from the fighting streets of Philadelphia, Rocky Balboa, who says, going in for that last round, when you feel like you really just can't, that's what's going to make the biggest difference in your life. Adventure awaits. Get out there and seek it, explore and discover and continue to learn. And just one piece of advice for you guys. Reject magical thinking and superstition. Embrace reality. Life Lessons PE style. Shoot for the stars. Don't let life pass you by. Remember what uh, we taught you when you're up a creek without a paddle? We'll carry an extra one. Tackle life's challenges head on. Life will be full of hurdles. Take them one at a time. Take aim and follow your dreams. Sometimes life's gonna knock you down. You just gotta get up and keep going. And when all else fails, put your phone away and get active. Hello grads. Some of you know me as Mr. Spicer. Many of you know me as Spice. Just a few of you know me as Papa Spice. Life is gonna get really, really awesome. Life is gonna get better and better, but only if you get better and better at life. Jump into every opportunity you can find. Take a risk here and there. Go places, learn things, do everything you can to just get better and better at life. And someday you could be as awesome as you. Uh, you guys are the first year that I've seen go from grade nine to grade 12. And I just wanna say congratulations. Lots of growth over the last four years and lots more to come. It has been my pleasure getting to know you and my absolute honor having to have taught you. Grads, I encourage you to pursue balance in your lives. Learn a second language, practice some yoga, and have fun. Felicitacion. I'm super proud of you guys. I'm gonna miss all of you. Um, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And for the last time, cheerio. We're very proud of you. We're both moving to the college with you guys. We're going to see we you guys like again. You. We're going to try a couple we're years. We're going to try and follow you. You're, yes. you're always a year ahead of us. Yes. So we're trying to keep up with you. Yes. Hey guys, I know many of you are probably walking around the hallways this year thinking who is this random kid? I actually am a teacher here. My name is Mr. Hebert and I taught uh, rock band and social studies for some of you. Um, I just wanted to wish you all, especially our rock band students, congratulations on an excellent year. I actually think the most important piece of advice is to be yourself and actually discover who you are. No, wait. I think you should also try new things, though, because that's really important in growing. Michelle. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe kind of enjoy the world out there and put your phone down. <laughs> I really think that the skills that you learn here are just a stepping stone for you and your future and I just wish you the best. And sometimes gain wisdom rather than knowledge. Go out there and live life to the gusto. Be kind, be good to your friends and go forth and conquer the world. Thank you so much. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Um, Rise high, do your very best. I know you'll be a fabulous success as you move into post-secondary or future careers. You're gonna to have to jump through a lot of hoops in life. But don't get frustrated. Learn from them. And use every hoop as an addition to your bag of tricks. Remember kids, floss your teeth. To my non-biological kids, I say thank you for filling my bucket. And to my daughter today who's graduating, I love you with all my heart. Have a great day. It's always nice to anticipate and look forward to things. So look forward to things. Your 20s are for discovery, failures, successes, ups and downs, figuring out who you are. And in your 30s, you can settle down 
and be a grown-up. So just remember that if things don't go exactly as planned. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for getting through your high school years. I can't wait for your next chapter. Good luck. Um, and especially congratulations to my graduating rugby players. You guys know what you're doing now and it's absolutely fantastic to see you on the field and now I'm looking forward to seeing you go out into the real adult life. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. Everything is going to be really wonderful mm -hmm. for you because truly if, if we can graduate from things, anyone can. You two can. can do it. Yes. We believe in you. We do. Yes, be kind to each other. We love you, Sarah. Mom Aiden and I are very proud of you and love who you have become. We will miss you next year as you move on to the next chapter of your life and post-secondary education. Go out and make your world a better place. I've known so many of you for so long and it seems like only yesterday you guys were starting grade nine. I truly believe there's a path for each and every one of you and I wish you nothing but success in the future. Thanks for the many memories and laughs both in and outside of the classroom. And to my own graduate, Taylor, thank you so much for attempting to keep me in the loop with the teenage trends these past few years. I'm really going to miss having you around next year. Your dad and I are super proud of you and can't wait to see what the future holds. Love you 3000. My advice to you would just be, you be you. It's totally enough. I uh, just wanted to say, keep the memes alive. I'm really certain that memes are going to be the things that make your whole class famous, so never let the memes die, especially an eye on cat. Super huge shout out to the winning improv team, Canadian Improv Games team that represented Alberta at Nationals and performed on the national stage in Ottawa. Way to go, guys. You've worked hard to make it to this day. Be proud of who you are and what you've accomplished. Embrace whatever journey comes your way or whichever way you go. Uh, don't be strangers. Make sure you come back. Uh, we always love to see you and see how you're doing. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduating